Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, welcome back to Tandy Writes. In last week's video I did the work in progress tag because it's NaNoWriMo this month and I wanted to introduce my project to you. But for this, for this tag, for this video I'm going to be doing another tag. This is the Your Story tag and I can't find the creator of it as expected. But whereas the other one was talking about more about, you know, genre, themes, characters, this is going to be more in depth, so more about plot and more detailed characters and I'm so bad at describing things. But anyway, this is your story tag and let's begin. So, first question is tell us about your story. In summary, Heart is about a blind boy and a deaf girl. They meet in group therapy and they get partnered up in this kind of team building activity. So they get forced into a friendship a little bit. And this whole therapy thing makes it sound a lot like the Button Our Stars, but I promise you, it's not. Is this part of Camp and NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo or a personal project? I started writing this as a personal project back in 2015, but it didn't really get it far. And I kept getting distracted to work on like these whole newer, shiny ideas that I was having. And I just forgot about it. And then I went back to it for a little bit in summer 2017, because I was trying to revise my GCSEs and did not want to. So I started writing instead. But currently it's 2018, it's NaNo, and I'm going to be doing it this month because it's a story that I really love and it's so close to my heart that I think it deserves more than just like 10,000 words that I forget about all the time. So this question is test about your characters and I'm going to be reading a little bit, I guess this is kind of in the blurb or it's in the description, but it's about the characters. So, Ren is morbidly, why can't I say morbidly? Rin is morbidly pessimistic, blaming the world for his problems. He'd probably see past the anger if he could still, well, see. Asher sees the good in everyone, probably best since she blocks out what mean things everyone says about her. Not by choice, but she does it. Why was that so hard for me to read? So again, I'm going to mash two questions together, and this is what's your favourite friendship and what's your favourite romance? Um, the story is still in the early stages, so Rin and Asher are still like the only big friendship going on. And because Asher has been mostly isolated due to her deafness, and Rin only has certain people he can trust, they'll probably be the, the only good friendship, but Rin and Luke, his like best friend, are also kind of cute. And best romance, like when I originally started writing this, I thought like, oh you know, typical love story, two teenagers. They become friends. They fall in love. But not stars. But, so originally Asher and Rin were going to end up together, but I don't want them to now. I just want to focus on their friendship and their lives more than like trying to push romance together to like fix them or whatever. What is the saddest scene in your story? They're not written yet, but there's two scenes that I'm planning. So, and they're the ones that like show up most clearly in my head. Like, if I was watching a movie, these are the two scenes that I remember most vividly. One of them involves a letter, and the other involves the ocean. What is your favourite scene in the story? I think it's probably going to end up being one of the saddest scenes, but I'm still like ridiculously proud of the opening scene. Because I like the description, I like the backstory, I like the character development. And when I was writing it, the words came straight to me. I just opened a Word document and just like slammed the keyboard, and all these words just keep flowing out without any thought. So it's like the easiest opening scene I've ever written. And I still love it, even after three, probably three and a half years now. And that's cool. <laughs> How did the story come about? I mentioned it in the last video, but it was about that there's, seems to be a lot of mental health representation in fiction coming up, but not enough about like disabilities and physical illnesses and things like that. And I've always been interested in like blindness and deafness. That's like a really weird thing to say. I was interested. So I wanted to write about a blind boy and how he lives, a deaf girl and how she lives, and what would happen if I put them together. <laughs> what isn't working in your story? And that, this is probably the reason why I put off writing the story for so long, or I kept stopping and starting it. So when I first wrote a few chapters like three years ago, I had like an extremely limited knowledge about blindness and deafness being a spectrum. Like I didn't even realise blindness was a spectrum, but now I do. So I had this like, really naive idea that if you're blind you can't see at all, and if you're deaf you can't hear at all, unless you have a hearing aid which somehow fixes your hearing. I'm still not sure how hearing aids work but I'm going to look into it. <laughs> so 
So I ended up writing this book on two characters that were based like, entirely on stereotypes that could have been like quite harmful to deaf and blind communities because... what did I find out? I found out that like 90% of blind people still have some sort of vision and like hardly any deaf people are completely deaf and then like I've learnt so much and that also makes this, like the story more interesting to write because rather than just being, oh, Rin's completely blind, he can't see anything, there's still like light and shadow perception, and there's like tunnel vision, and there's all these, not exciting, so I think if they happened to you, they wouldn't be that great, but it's still very interesting to like play around with. So the story wasn't working because it was based on stereotypes. So I disappeared, I did this huge amount of research, mostly on watching deaf and blind YouTubers, because I like listening to people talk. <laughs> and also since Shane Dawson did that series with Molly Burke who's a blind YouTuber a lot of deaf and blind YouTubers have just been appearing recently I mean I guess they've always been there but since that series they've been gaining a lot of attention so I did so much research and now I feel a lot more educated and informed on the subject so I can go ahead and write the story and not offend anyone <laughs> what is one thing you love about your story? I love my characters and their friendship. That's all. Do you plan to publish? This question comes up in like every single tag about writing. But yes, I do plan to publish. I want to be traditionally published at some point in my life, but as I am young, and I don't feel like I'm ready for it in terms of the, like the strength of my writing and basically who I am as a person. I am going to stick with self-publishing for a while now. But originally, I mean, if any of my books had to get professionally published, this is the one I'd want it to be. Because I thought like it's the one that could have like, the most impact on the world. But I don't think I'm ready. Unless I hold on to the manuscript for like years. I'll see what happens. So in the comments below, like, let me know what you're working on right now. Like, are you writing for Nano? Are you just writing for fun? Just tell me about it in the projects. T tell me about it in the projects. Tell me about your projects in the comments. Because I really love knowing about these things. And that's all the questions for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.